Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Two Point Hospital. Now this game seems very, very intriguing because it reminds me back of those tycoon games in yesteryear where you had to build your economy and it was very creative and it seems like this game also has quite a sense of humor to it as well. So let's go ahead and start a brand new game. I did live stream this a little bit before. I am getting into live streaming a little bit, but this intro is definitely one of the funniest things I've seen. Of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. <laughs> All right. So you might have seen just how expensive some of these hospitals that you can build are. I'm pretty sure there will be a sandbox mode at least. I'm pretty sure it's already released. But let's go ahead and get into the campaign to the nitty gritty. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. All right, so there's multiple hospitals in different areas that we need to get across. Now, this is, of course, pretty much your basic one. I don't think we can hop over into lower bollocks just yet. So let's go back into Hogsport. Also, pretty interesting, they include and integrate the Steam profile as well, very interestingly. Um, you've got your picture and all that kind of stuff. I'm not quite sure what else you can do, but uh, it's one of the first games that I've seen that really does that, at least integrate Steam as much as they do here. Now, of course, this is the very, very bland tutorial where you need to look up, down, left and right, but let's go ahead and get into it and actually place a reception, which a reception would uh, make the most sense placing it right into the center. Now, of course, we don't want people be walking up to our back. So let's go have it right up here. That probably makes the most sense. And then we can direct people where to go. So great, we'll need an assistant to run the reception. Let's hire one now. Let's hire one. And they each have their own special abilities as well. So for example, Timmy Guff, he doesn't really have all that many specialties and he do, he's not really all that highly leveled up either. Whereas Hank Rancid, he's got a 50% plus customer service skill as well. Well, he's actually got two, so you get 100% there. Whereas Timmy has only got 50, which is still pretty good. But then again, you're paying more than double for Hank. So I'm gonna go with Timmy Guff, who's more bacon than eggs. Probably a good thing. I think, I mean, who doesn't love bacon? So let's plop him down right there. And you can get right into the game as well. So general Practi practitioner's office. Great, before we officially open, we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. So we can build rooms and we can zoom in right up to see what they're doing. I love the art style of this game as well. It's also very nice how they tell you where you need to click, so you can't really get too lost. But as you can see, there's not much really going on right now. So let's go ahead and uh, build pretty much the most important thing in a hospital, the GP's office. At least you do need doctors. So I'm gonna build the GP's office right over here they need a minimum three by three space but the larger the space you have the more things you can put in quite clearly and the more things you put in the happier people are and there's certain benefits that you get so we are going to place i guess his desk right here and we're going to place the filing cabinet next to the window really doesn't make too much a difference where we place that and then of course we're also going to need to hire a doctor. So I'm just going to settle for Walter Rhubarb. I love these names though. I don't know where they come up with it. 
I wonder if it's randomly generated or if they actually had someone just come up with all these names and had to create a long, long list of them. I love how we can also just plop him down wherever we want, but let's plop him down on his desk. If it is valid, there we go. Good news, our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register a reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. All right, let's see, where is it our first patient going to come? There's a couple of buses, cars and all. All right, they want me to zoom in and out. You're pretty much your stock standard. Little tutorial, and then we need to pitch the camera. So like this, there we go. You're listening to Harrison Wolf. Now there's also an online aspect to the game. I'm pretty sure it's not completely multiplayer, but there's like different challenges that you have to do. And get ready to find out what's really going on. But first, here are some people playing musical instruments. <laughs> All right, the radio is also pretty funny too. And what do you know? We've got our very first patient. Let's go have a look at uh, this confidential discussion. Thankfully, it is pretty much almost a god game, so we can. Well, it's not really a god game, but we can play god around a little bit. So we've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list in the bottom right. Looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy to treat the patient. So we're going to have to make him wait. And we are going to build the pharmacy back over on this side, like we did in the live stream, very similar kind of layout. I mean, it makes the most sense. The two most, I guess, used buildings right at the front. Now, let's go twist this around so we can see what's going on. And what else do I need a place? I think that's it, isn't it? It is. So the pharmacy is very small. You can place, obviously, some pot plants and all that stuff. I just like talking into a microphone. But what we're going to do now is let's hire Rodney Darling. Uh, so we need the nurse. nurse. Yeah, we do need the nurse here. Over into the pharmacy. And now we'll be able to start treating these people. Also, this is not very well placed, is it? So what we're gonna have to do is pick this up and place it right in the center, which I think is, no, that's not even the center, is it? I can't tell the center from my left and right. There it is. All right, mate. And we can also pick them up and say, if we end up making a break room, we can pick up our, um, our workers and drop them into the break room and they'll immediately take a break, which is great. So we've cured our first patient. So that's always good news to hear. We just cured our very first patient. You can get right in here and you can actually see how they uh, perform the surgeries and how they remove people with, uh, I guess, turtle head, I think it's called. There's definitely some very funny ailments that people have so we're back into the whole youtube thing of course as well now as you guys have probably noticed uh, if you are brand new i pretty much focus on these kind of games tycoon city building kind of games definitely what i do enjoy so if you're into that kind of stuff be sure to leave a like comment and of course subscribe it's uh, been a while since i've been uploading regularly and consistently but things i guess is changing for the better thankfully but with that aside, let's check out what we need to do. We need to hire a janitor and place two extinguishers. I think we can do that. I've started exploring past lives. So I'm actually going to go for candle rake. Pendulums and pocket watches. Although listening to my own voice being strange. able to clean up ghosts That's is pretty important. Thing. And then another thing. Because and you definitely don't want ghosts haunting your hospital. That's no good. So the janitor can just do his own thing. And then we actually need to place some extinguishers. So I'm going to place these fire extinguishers near the exit. Because I think that makes the most sense to me, at least anyway. I mean, we don't want it too close to the doctor's office. So janitors clean rubbish, like you'd assume. And they also fix up machines when they break. So pe keeping people happy, it's important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. 
make sure they have access to entertainment, food and drinks, and also a comfy seat. So let's beautify the area. I want us to place two benches. So I'll place one bench outside the doctor's office and another outside the pharmacy. I want us to place a leaflet stand. There we go. I don't know, I just really like my symmetry. So that's why I'm placing that there. And then we need some good old snackies. So we're gonna place these up over here. So that was the drinks and now the snacks. And that's all done. Of course, these missions in the first couple of uh, episodes, well, maybe not the first couple of episodes, but at least this episode, are going to be pretty simple. All right, so staff energy and breaks. So they need breaks, of course, drinks and snacks help them, uh, but also filling up their room with interesting items is important. Also, we need to build a staff room where they can take their own breaks. So I'm going to take the staff room at the back here where the people, where the patients can't actually see that our hard workers aren't really working all that hard. And I think I'm going to go for... Well, it's interesting. It doesn't seem like there's any upkeep costs. There's only that initial capital that you need and that's it. I also place a locker in here as well just for the time being all right staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break ends you can place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break yeah okay we've went through that but let's go back to the items and i would love plants over here just to make it a little bit more beautiful what do you want over here all right, you need bathrooms. Well, yes. Bathrooms are pretty important. Also, it does look like it is quite a cartoony, basic game, but it does get quite in-depth in the information tab with these visualization... Vis geez. Vis visual... Oh, man. It's just not coming to me to say, is it? <laughs> but these modes, they actually give you quite a bit of information. So you've got things like different temperature, I guess, for surgical rooms, you need very cold temperature and uh, you need to make sure everyone's happy and uh, I guess satiated they're not hungry and they're having fun you definitely don't want them to be bored out of their minds so let's get on to building some toilets I think the best place for toilets is uh, somewhere in the middle here I th oh well Uh, I'll go for this. Yeah, I'll go for this actually. And how many cubicles do we actually need to build? I'll go for two. We we'll also need a sink. There. Beautiful. And also a hand dryer on the side, hopefully. There we go. And maybe a bin as well, just in case someone wants to chuck out some sanitary items. There we go. And we also need to place another bin. So I'm going to place another bin right next to the administrator here. Or the receptionist. Because that makes the most sense to me. All right, let's get out of this uh, view. Also, there, there's lots of finance options and all that. But to me, it seems like making money is pretty easy. Apparently, Elixir, your latest product, which claims to cure all ills, is in fact nothing but pine scented prune juice. Well, I guess it should cure one hell at least. All right, yeah, the radio is definitely well worth a listen to. <laughs> Some of the things they say, is, say are quite amusing. So let's build a general diagnosis room where we can generally diagnose. And I'll keep on placing these windows, or oh, these doors out on this way. And there we go. I'll also place another pot plant right next to the window so I can get some sun. Aha, and I've just noticed this. So this shows us the cost of the room and the actual prestige of it as well. So I wonder what will happen if I place a fire extinguisher. Wow, it increases as well. Very cool. 
As you can see, we spin the uh, in the pharmacy the medicines that we are providing the people. So well done. The hospital level is increased. Keep expanding to attract more patients and staff. We've only cured two patients so far. I'm not quite sure why my administrator here, our receptionist, sorry. Don't know why I keep on calling them an administrator. He's taking a break when there's so many people waiting around here. Here we go. Here he comes. Does this show the queue? No? Well, there's at least three people waiting. Four now. But it's a very clean and sanitary hospital, that's for certain. Don't tell me this guy's going to go on a break now. Come on now. No, my friends. All right, what we can do, I think. Yeah, he's on a break. I think what I am able to do is actually pick him up and chuck him back here, which will end up making him a little bit unhappy. But he will actually start coming here and uh, working which is great if you're in a backlog like this. Also, it seems like the seats are coming in very handy, which is great. All right. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going now. We just need to wait up a little bit. Oh, we can also speed things up, it seems like. Not super fast mode, but fast enough. I wouldn't mind another GP's office, though, to be honest. Not quite sure where I should place this. Let's go rooms. Uh, oh, yes. Wards are pretty important as well. So let's build a ward. Newsflash. There's a peculiar new illness in town. Lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Now, this is one of the funny ailments, ailments that people have. They literally have lights on their head. It's quite a scene to be... Uh, scene really <laughs> let's go ahead and build up this ward get a privacy curtain and some beds in here there we go and we'll also get another privacy screen i think if we're able to squeeze it in actually like so beautiful and maybe just a plant just for good measure in between the beds beautiful So wards can be used for diagnosis and also to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them and discharge them when they're ready to leave. So, I don't really care too much about the pharmacy skills, but the increased speed and efficiency will definitely help us out. So I'm going to pull up that down, that lady down right there. They want us to get another GP's office. That's not going to be too hard at all. And we've cured 10 patients. What do you know? It's all coming along very nicely now. So you know what? I'll place the GP's office. Make a nice 3x3 three three room. That won't work. No. Let's not do that there then. Uh, you know what? Maybe right next to the bathrooms. I think that'll have to be it. Yeah, that'll work. So we need the office desk, which will face this way. So when they come in, and we'll place the filing cabinet over here on this way. Actually, you know what? I don't like where it is. We need to move it back more. There it is. Also place a pot plant right next to the window so it can grow nice and tall. All right, and we're pretty good with that, I think. Uh, is that it? Seems so. Um, need to move that. There we go. And now, of course, for the GP's office, we need the actual GP. So let's get a Dr. G's. This guy costs an arm and a leg, but he's got quite a few skills. Whitney. Um, hmm. I think I'll just go with Tiffany, to be honest. I'm not really all that fast. But our hospital now is working pretty well. Hospital star rating. The Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognize the achievements of every hospital in the country. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be rewarded 
or awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organization. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, but it will also allow us to establish new hospitals around the county. So let's keep on expanding the hospital. Cure them of their lightheadedness, which we need the deluxe clinic. So it cures patients with lightheadedness, unscrewing heads since 2017. So clearly this is a brand new technology. I'm gonna place this. Let's have a look. Um, one a little bit larger actually. No, no, one more. Tile right there, beautiful. No, no, I'm good. Now we need the door. Which way should we place the door? I think maybe right over here. Hungry. And then we need the, of course, the deluxe Olux. Lonely. And the console to operate it. Eat some cheesy gubbins. <laughs> what in the world is with this radio? The snack for people with nothing to lose. Alright. This is two boys. So what does this mean? Seven. Q length seven. Jesus, uh, quite the queue here. Maybe we need a bit more beds. Because that's not good having this uh, many people here. Alright, so the privacy screen. They get in the privacy screen. And then they get changed right out. I remember back when I broke my leg. In a uh, hospital. Well, not in a hospital, but boxing. Um, I had to put on the gown. And I had no idea how to put the gown on. Because it's uh, unlike all the other clothes that you wear. You actually wear like the... Um, where it closes and opens from behind. So you know how like, you yeah, have a button-up shirt and it buttons up from the front. In a hospital, you button it up from behind and it's like an apron almost. I remember I kept on putting it wrong and the nurse is telling me, no, no, you gotta, you got to flip it inside out. So I thought that she uh, meant like you got to flip it, literally flip it inside out. And oh man, very embarrassing. All right, so we can also promote staff which um, we definitely don't want them creating too much dissent and hating us for not paying them enough. So I'm going to make this guy happy and give him what he wants because I'm a nice employer employer to my employees. Like so. And, oh, new illness, bed face discovered. Never seen bed face. A quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor. To monitor your sleeping angles. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. Uh, there's quite a queue here. So maybe I'll be able to. Maybe I should get another nurse in here. Maybe that'll help. Why isn't this guy going into the deluxe alux? He should be. Because that's the guy that's suffering from lightheadedness. Hey, there's the janitor working hard. Uh, so how long does it take for him to be all right? Interesting. Uh, okay, I'm going to need another nurse, I think. Yeah, most likely. She's Yeah, this nurse has got way too many things to do. So I'm going to get Richard. Yeah, Richard seems to know what he's doing, so I'm going to hire him and put him in the diagnosis room. But then again, he can just walk around wherever he wants, wherever we need people. So that's pretty important. Okay. Now, we've only still cured one person with lightheadedness. I don't know where this guy went that was here before. There's quite a queue here, which is no good. Oh, we're going to get rewards. Oh, and we are also losing money, which is uh, quite different. Here we go. <laughs> so they unscrew his uh, light. Oh, come on now. I mean, rewards are nice and all. But I want to watch people get a new head. All right, so now they go through all of your awards. And um, I mean, I don't really know if there's too many prizes that you win. I think you might like to get five or so thousand dollars per each prize that you win. Yeah. And some K points, which you use to unlock new items, but it's not really all that exciting. And yeah. So let's skip that. 
We won four rewards out of eight. That's pretty good. We won half of them. This lucky guy got his head screwed on. Very nice. And, oh, nice. Okay, so we're going to complete this mission pretty quickly. So, I think what I'm going to need is probably some more beds here. But also, dear hospital administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets. If you believe that you're capable of more, um, alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours. All right, so I'm assuming we're gonna be able to uh, open up the map a little bit later on. Ah, that's where you re go to the map, okay. In the live stream, I couldn't figure out how you change the maps. But that makes sense. So they want us to earn $200,000 and upgrade our hospital, which shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully no one with um, ADD or any of those afflictions uh, minds this uh, notification. <laughs> I know how much some people hate having notifications on their messages and all. And geez, we made a lot of money then. We're going to smash out that $200,000 pretty quickly. All right, uh, so as I was saying before we were oh so rudely interrupted, I'm going to hopefully over here, I think I need to click here and then click on items. No, what if I double click? Edit, here we go. Yes, I wanna get some more beds in here. So I think if I squeeze them in, bit like sardines in a can that should work out better for us we should be able to squeeze in more people now I mean I'm pretty sure we don't need more than two privacy screens yeah no we should be alright it doesn't seem like there's too much of a queue anywhere either which is also very important I mean people have got bathrooms all oh, right, the deluxe clink. Did you know staff will go on a break when their energy is low? As long as there aren't too many staff of that type already on a break. Okay, that's, I guess, important to know. Where are all my doctors? So I've got, actually, I'm pretty sure you can check out where all of your guys are here. Staff. Okay. So we've got two doctors here. Tiffany and Walter ah okay so probably wouldn't hurt to have another doctor to be honest that way we'll be able to admit more patients quicker I'll leave it as it is I think for the time being because there's not too many people waiting about I think we're doing pretty well actually yeah I'm pretty happy with the way things are so let's keep on curing these patients maybe Hmm. I don't know, what else is there we can do? I guess we have to Great move on to the next to map. Because I think Find this is just a bit of a grind now. If you have any Although, let's go ahead and actually get some more rooms. Keep you posted on how my search goes. Let's get Anything another GP's office. Um, yeah, I might as well build it here, right? It needs to be at least 3x3, three three. okay. So I can't do that. What if I place it... I guess I'll place it here then. Something like so. There we go. And then we want the, the back of the doctor to face the wall. Of course, we don't want anyone looking into it, what we've got on our computer screen so we can uh, be as lazy as we want and look up at inappropriate things at work. All right. Did you know patients and staff will want access to toilets, especially after eating or drinking, and sure we have enough toilets to avoid accidents. To be quite honest, I haven't seen anyone use the toilets. But they must be getting used. Here we go. 
No, that's just a nurse putting uh, rubbish in. What? Where'd the nurse go? She must be on. Yeah, she's on a. Oh, he's on a break. <laughs> Doing armpit farts. <laughs> Some of these people are crazy. All right. So let's get another doctor. Staff. Actually, no, we want to go higher. And we'll get Janet Squirm. We'll plop her down here. And we've increased in level. Beautiful. Is there anyone else that's, I guess, under the pump? Not really. We've got more than enough doctors everywhere. And this, oh no, I was going to say, she's just got hired. Oh, he's just got hired and he's on a break. No, she's, she. All right. We definitely don't want them to be going on breaks on our dime. Too long, at least anyway. Um, but I pretty happy with the way things are going. Maybe I should, could get another pharmacy. Uh, there's a little bit of a wait for one. Um, and I might be able to be a little bit cheeky and actually place it like, no, that won't work. Because in the way of the doorway, okay. Let's get a, oh, nope. Don't want to do that. Nurse needed in general diagnosis. All right, what I'm going to do is hire Another nurse. Oh, hi, this one. Actually, you know what? Maybe I could beautify this area even more. What we're able to do, though, is unlock some more of these items with these K points. So I've got K200 down here on the bottom right. So that means I'm able to unlock this silver bench. Now, what benefit does a silver bench give me? It's the bench of your futuristic chrome-plated dreams, whereas this one is... What do you expect? A bench that's purple. Oh, that's true. Well, let's get... Oh, okay, that's useful. Energy drinks. Who doesn't love energy drinks? Okay. I love me some energy drinks. So let's place them just outside the staff room. I admire a station manager's optimism. The most callers we've ever had in a day was six. Two of them were wrong numbered. Oh, the radio definitely cracks me up. I'm not quite sure how you go about increasing demand. I think people just end up coming to you uh, just because they can. Uh, but we're still making money, which is very important. Uh, so I guess maybe let's go back to the rooms and get... I don't know, what else can we build? I'm not really too sure about toilets. I'm not too sure about wards either. We seem to be doing all right there. Seem to be doing all right everywhere. You know what? I'm going to go toilets, but I'm going to place them right over here. I'm actually going to increase them. I'll make these toilets special. Place a door. A toilet cubicle or two. Won't go too far astray. Place the sink in the middle. Get the hand dryer. I don't think we've got the hand dryer in the other ones. Oh, no. I'm sure we do. And we'll also place a light-headed post to say when you're pooping. They can remind themselves that it can be a lot worse for them. And being light-headed and all. Um, right. That's a little bit overkill. I mean, we've pretty much cured all the patients that we want. So we're almost at the two-star hospital. We just need to increase this. So... Build more rooms, hire more and better qualified staff, or promote and train your existing staff. Okay. Well, do I have a shortage anywhere? Not really. So what I'm going to do is, let's pay this guy a little bit more until he's happy. There we go. Not quite sure if this is actually increasing. I'm pretty sure there's a quicker way that you can uh, pay people off. Here we go. Oh, this guy's unhappy. That's not good. I don't think it is really improving. Um, and Jeff Beatry, he doesn't seem too happy either. There we go. I think I'm just going to have to hire a little bit more, aren't I? Most likely. Actually, you know what we could do? We could hire another janitor. 
Uh, that's someone that I haven't really hired in quite a while. So, this one seems like they're good at maintenance. Probably will come in handy. And, oh, oh, we've got a guy that's going to die. <laughs> and now he's become a ghost. And thankfully, because one of our janitors has that ghost ability, he's able to go ahead and clean that ghost up. The ghost remains up. All right, so back over here. You know what? Let's get another ward. But this time over here on this side. And, no, that's not going to work. I have to place it ward over here. Right next to the bathroom. That's very hygienic. There we go. Oh, close. Can't scre scramble it in there. Oh, okay. That's not going to work. So I'm going to have to move. This one. Let's see where. You know what? Maybe just get rid of it. And we'll build maybe another screen. Right over here. This is one unsymmetrical building of oh, room. Let's also get a plant here or two. Light headed poster just to increase the prestige up to level three now. And let's also get a locker as well. Whenever you clip your nails in go. front of a computer, I'm pretty happy with the way that is. Nails always flies into the cracks. Uh, is that it? Yep. Does pretty sure. Feed on them. We got that. Know. All right. This. No one okay. There we go. So we've reached level two. Congratulations! Your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. If you proceed at your current pace, you will have achieved everything that you can in your founding establishment soon enough. I can sense your confidence inflating. Careful that you don't build yourself up for an even greater fall. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin of Oxbridge, the health minister. So you got some uh, nice little rewards and a salty snacks machine. Health inspector now arriving at the hospital. Oh, oh. We've got a health inspector. That's not good. Is that him? Nope. Here he is. All right. This will be interesting. I wonder what he's going to do. He's visiting the deluxe clinic. Well, it seems like everything will be pretty clean. Although it's not staffed at the moment, which is not good. Everything, yeah, everything should be right. Oh, I think he gave us the thumbs up for the energy drinks. He seems pretty happy. So that's always good. Yeah, so we'll get some ghosts. Um, there's a pharmacy emergency. There's been an outbreak of pharmacy-related illnesses after a recent craze that involved eating highlighter pens took the county by storm. There's a group looking for treatment now. Um, we'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients. Should we have them sent here? Indeed, we should. So they've got bog warts. All right. Uh, let's also promote that lady um so yes there's these special missions that come up from time to time these timed missions i guess so we've got 90 days to complete um giving the pharmacy uh pills that they need here we go here they come i guess so these are the vips and they need to get what they want or they yeah you need to give them what they need oh Oh, yes, I do remember we did get a death. So that's why we didn't that win that award this time. All right, so how many pharmacies do I have? I've only got the one, don't I? Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure if I need another one or not. Probably wouldn't hurt to have another one, though, would it? Uh, so maybe let's go rooms. Let's go pharmacy. There we go. Looking for a fun day out for all the family. I guess. Come to Grockle Bay Zoo. And see stunt monkeys. Uh. Whale pigs. Uh. And Venusian tigers. 
All right, I went a little bit overkill on this farm, on this nurse actually, sorry, in the pharmacy, but they should be all right because I'll be able to get things done a lot quicker, which is great for these timed missions as well. Got to earn $400,000, which doesn't seem like it'll be much of a problem. And we've also got to cure the 30 patients. So everything should be going pretty quick and well. Of course, it's going quick because we are playing on a faster speed, isn't it? I haven't seen these people with these uh, crooked heads, though. So have we figured out what his problem is? Oh, he's got bog warts. Right, it looks like Tourette's, to be honest. All right, so we've almost uh, finished this mission, which uh, we're actually smashing it, which is great. In he goes, and that'll be the last guy. What's his name? Oh, Amelia Cumberland. That does not look like a woman. I guess Amelia could be like an Italian man's name or something of the sort. But we're doing pretty well. But I think we are dragging this episode on quite a little bit. I was tempted to hit an hour. But I think what I'm going to do next episode is we're going to dedicate the next episode to the next stage. So not quite sure what should do. What should we do? Should we end it? Because it is dragging on quite a bit. But I am having that tycoon fun here as well. It is uh, it's like one of those one more turn kind of games where you just can't stop playing. Yeah, it's definitely don't believe in ghosts, folks. But yeah, that's going to be it. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll come back and start off on the second level very, very, very soon. Until next time, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and you know all that typical YouTube stuff. Until next time, I will see you guys later.